Thank you everyone for joining us for the Mythos X Loan Fees and Charges Hands-On Demonstration. We will start with pointing you to where you can find the documentation online so you don't have to take a lot of notes during the presentation. You'll be able to find all of this following this link here, which is our online user manual, which contains all of the end user uh, instructions, documentation. It also has some sample materials out there for developing your internal policies and procedures. And we'll get into that out a later training session. Today, we'll be talking about charges. And again, this is found in your wiki. And we'll be reviewing this screen and how to create a charge. This is a good one. On our answer hub, as you're working up your uh, system, configuring your products, if you get stuck, can't find the answer in the wiki, and we have two methods that you could use. You can always post your questions out on our user lists, or you can go to our answer hub, type in your topic, or what you think is close to your topic, sometimes things are named differently, and you'll be able to scroll through what kind of questions have been asked and answered? And if you're still not getting the answers you want, you can post your own questions. You will get a timely response to these and we'll be able to take care of any of your needs. So the Answer Hub is a great resource for you as you're setting up your system, adding new products, adding new features. And now I'm going to turn over control to Sagamesh, who will be giving you a hands-on demonstration of the Mifos X, and we're in 15.03 version. So are you able to see my screen? Yes, I can see it perfectly. Thank you so very much. Great. So about charges, you know, Mifos supports two types of charges, you know, fees and penalties. So Fees are charged for service, for example, membership fee, loan disbursement fee, withdrawal fee. Again, um, we'll restrict with the loan fee for this session. I will switch to the MIFOS page. So I'm on the MIFOS dashboard. Here, if I click on the admin, in the drop down, we have the products. So if I click on the products, I'll be able to create a charge by clicking on a charges, then create charge. So again, the charge applies to, if I select here, it gives an option for selecting whether it's a if it is a loan charge, then I need to click on the loan. Otherwise, if it is a savings or, or deposits, I need to click on the savings and deposits. So I'll click on the loan. And here, we can provide the loan name. Let's say loan processing fee. Okay. And Next is a select currency. So I'll select the currency and charge time type. So what is charge time type? Yeah. So charge time type, we have a disbursement which is a fee charged at the time of loan disbursement. For example, if the loan amount is $1,000 and the disbursement is on 5th of Jan with the loan processing fee of a $1 flat amount, then on the loan disbursement date has on 5th January, it would show in the transaction has loan disbursement equals to $1,000 and fees has one dollar so we will define this in loan charge now 
so I'll click on this first mint, then flag again. <clears throat> we have option for different charge calculation here. Flat would be the uh, the provided amount, and the percentage amount is the percentage of the loan amount. So if I provide the percentage of the loan amount has one here, that means one percent of the loan amount. And in the same way, we have the percentage of loan amount plus interest. And that, again, we have a percentage interest. So for now, let me select flat. So meaning the, whatever the amount I'm providing here, that would be charged straight away. Okay. I tried one dollars has a loan processing fee here, and this should be charged at the time of loan disbursement. So I'll click on uh, check the checkbox for active. Then this loan charge gets active. So I'll click on submit. Oops. Yeah, uh, the charge payment type is again, we have a regular and account transfer. Regular is a normal uh, transaction um, usage and account transfer would be the usage if in case there is a linked savings account wherein the fees or the charges would get collected from the link savings account. Okay. So we'll select regular for now and click on submit. So now the loan processing fee is uh, defined. Okay. Now we'll, <clears throat> we'll create the other loan charges that is specified due date installment fee and poor due installments. So the specified due date it's a it's a fee wherein it get collected on the provided date. So if the speed specified due date provided is on 10 January and the repayment date is on 15 January the fees gets collected has on 10 January irrespective of the repayments. And we have the installment fee. The fees gets collected at every installment. For example, a installment fee is defined as one dollar, and the loan repaid is every week. So, then at the every installment, that is every week in this example, one dollar gets collected. And for the OD installment, these charges uh, get collected if there is a OD in the installment. This can be used if uh, if an organization want to penalize for a client in case of a late repayment. Okay. I'll switch back to the before page. I would create one more charge. Let's create a uh, uh, penalty that is late payment fee. So I'll select the currency. So for the late payment fee, that would be OD fees, which is a penalty. And I would select this as a percentage of the loan amount and charge payment type by regular. So I'll provide the percentage amount that is 1% of the loan amount. Then check the checkbox for active to make it active and I'll also check the checkbox for is penalty. 
to make this charge as a penalty. So I'll click on submit. So if I click on the charges, it gives a list of defined charges here. Okay. Now, once these charges are created, we go back to the product, loan product. I have already uh, defined loan product here. I'll go and edit this one and scroll to the bottom and select a charge loan processing fee and click on add button to add for this loan product and I'll also add late payment fee and click on add button to add this charge then click on submit so both these charges are added to the loan product so whenever a client uh, disburse a loan or if there is a overpayment sorry overdue the fees gets charged let me disperse this has on in June 2014. So the loan amount is 10,000 here and the fees is $1 as we have defined it here. Okay. And uh, after submitting and disbursing this loan, in the transaction, it would get updated as fees collected. Okay. Let me uh, approve. Submit. Then disburse. Okay, so in the loan page, in the transaction tab, there's a transaction done, disbursement, 10,000 amount, and repayment, $1 fee collected, has on 8 June at the time of disbursement. So for the same uh, other example, yeah, so... On 15 June, the installment amount to be paid is uh, supposed to be this amount. If a client doesn't pay on 15th, so he would get penalty with the uh, overdue fee. That is 1% of the loan amount. Yeah, uh, this would be about the loan charges. Thank you so very much, Sangamesh. That was a very nice walkthrough of our loan charges, and I love the way you brought it back to a loan. That was very helpful for me. Hope it was helpful for our viewers. And our next session i hope you join us for they should be scrolling right through and if you have any questions regarding how to use the new FOSX platform any of the functionality again use our mailing lists use our answer hub use our jira or put a question out there to us and we will get back to you just as soon as possible and i thank you for your time and we will See you next time.